Well, I can definitely say the time I got excited about coding was when my uncle introduced me to algorithms. And uh, he uh, got me excited about uh, algorithms and computers, and that was history. In a way, if you think about it, it's like writing a poem. There's no one way to write a poem. There are infinite number of ways to express it. So the fact that you can conceive these ideas, change them, do them so many different ways and express them, uh, it was just absolutely fascinating. The trends that I'm really excited about are um, about reactive programming, uh, AR, augmented reality, and in the language space, I'm absolutely excited about languages like Kotlin. In terms of reactive programming, this idea of taking a stream of data and applying transformations on it uh, is, is phenomenal. A lot of libraries are changing towards being reactive. I think we're gonna see a lot more of it in the next few years. Augmented reality is something that's even more exciting than virtual reality for me. The world around us is gonna change phenomenally in terms of how we're gonna use AR. And then of course, in the language space, I'm a big fan of programming languages. Uh, people don't seem to like Kotlin, they love Kotlin. And I can see why, in fact, that's one of the reasons why my most recent book is on Kotlin. So I'm definitely looking forward to uh, improvements in that area. And, and, in, in, and coming back to Java, uh, I'm definitely absolutely excited about continuations and fibers. Uh, this is something that's gonna be a huge difference in terms of doing uh, asynchronous programming in Java. So I'm all excited about several things that are you know, trending right now. What is Oracle doing in terms of development advancement? One of the things I, I would argue is uh, their uh, six months release cadence is something that I uh, absolutely love. When they're developing applications, you know, any developer knows, knows this particular problem. You go to a developer and say, how's it going? They always say, I'm almost done. Well, the people behind Java are no different. They are always almost done. But the problem is when one, when, when one feature is done or complete, the worst thing that can happen to the developers of the feature is knowing that they have to wait for next seven years for that to be released. So the six months release cadence from Oracle uh, is uh, absolutely in the right direction in my opinion. They're still taking the time needed to develop quality code that may be two years, three years, five years, but it's released much more frequently. This also is a, a good benefit for developers because I'm not getting this water hose approach where a lot of features are dumped on me. Instead, there's an incremental change every six months. That's easier for developers to cope up with and keep up with the change as well in terms of the learning curve. Well, I'm, I want to say I'm thankful. I'm very humbled for the award. I absolutely was not expecting it. I'm, I'm not even sure if I deserve it. I've been very thankful to hear developers come to me in various conferences around the world and say that uh, they learned to program in Java 8 streams or apply Lambda expressions from the talks uh, that I have on YouTube from various conferences. And, uh, and it's very humbling when you hear people around the world say that uh, their journey to adopt technology uh, was better because of uh, the videos that I have posted. I have to say that uh, if I have made the journey for somebody a little bit better, uh, I think uh, that that's the value that I want to provide. And I'm glad that, uh, that, that, that it turned out that way. And maybe uh, the developers are uh, just you know, nodding to that and saying that, yeah, this, this little dude deserves a little recognition for doing it. I'm very thankful for those who took the time to vote for me.